Point of order, Mr. Richard Drax. On a point of order, as I have advised you, Mr. Speaker, I should be grateful to make a personal statement. I do not feel that I have misled the House, but I do feel I have not been true to myself. Although doing what I believe to be in the country's best interest at that moment in time, I quickly realised that I should not have voted with the Government on Friday afternoon. We had to weigh up the balance of risk and make an almost impossible choice. It seemed to be either the Prime Minister's deal or a long delay, European elections, a softer Brexit and more political uncertainty. What I should have done, Mr Speaker, and did not, was to trust my instincts and those of the British people. I made the wrong call on Friday, and let me very briefly explain why. First, order, order, no, no, order. I signalled an acceptance of the honourable gentleman's wish to raise this matter, and he must be allowed to do so. Mr. Richard Drax. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. First, I have consistently voted against the withdrawal of agreement because it is flawed. Second, I believe I let down good friends here in the House and my friends and colleagues in the DUP. I served on three operational tours in Northern Ireland, playing a small part in protecting the innocent and combating terrorism. So I say sorry to the DUP and my right honourable friend from Vauxhall for voting for a deal that could risk the integrity of our country. For that reason, and for that reason alone, Mr Speaker, the withdrawal agreement as it stands must never, ever see the light of day again. Finally, if the Prime Minister cannot commit to taking us out of the EU on the 12th of April, she must resign immediately. This is no longer about leave or remain. That was decided in 16. This is about the future of our great country and faith and trust in our democracy. Spring is here, Mr Speaker. Time for a new start for us all. Let's take our country back in 11 days' time and fulfil our honourable duty. Order. I thank the honourable gentleman for his point of order. I didn't know what its content was to be. I hadn't seen the text. The honourable gentleman speaks for himself. I know him well enough to know that he speaks not merely from the head, but from the heart. He's a person of integrity and a man of principle. And I respect what he said, and I think it stands for others to judge. But I appreciate him saying so candidly what he wanted to say.